One of the most underrated features of a cell phone is being able to use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is ridiculously useful in the so many circumstances, especially if you live in an area with really slow internet and your ISP is just too slow or ridiculously expensive to upgrade. But I know that the mobile Wi-Fi hotspot can also be slow. But if you change literally one setting, you can basically double your mobile hotspot speed without downloading any external app and without having to reach your phone. If you want to know how I do it, don't worry, I got you. Let me show you how it's done. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Tech Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So there are several reasons why you would want to use your phone as a hotspot. As I mentioned, if your local ISP is just stupidly slow and there's nothing you can do to increase your speed, well, if your phone is getting 3G, 4G LTE, you're going to get much more speed out of that device. You also might be out and about and you don't want to use those public free Wi-Fi. Simply use your phone as a hotspot, create your secure connection and you're far better off. There's a couple of things to remember when you're using your cell phone as a hotspot. Number one, not all mobile service provider actually enable that by default. That was something weird that I discovered only when I moved to the US. So double check with your provider. The second thing is that if you're on a paid data plan, so you pay per megabyte, just be aware whatever data you're sending through to your connected device from your laptop, your tablet, your gaming station, whatever it may be, goes towards that data plan. So you're going to go through those data packages quite quickly. And the third thing is that when you're using your phone as a hotspot, it really takes a toll on the battery and it does drain much quicker. Right, now that you know all that and you're happy to proceed, the final thing is that this only works with Android because of course, with Apple locking everything down, it doesn't give you much opportunity for configuration. And what we're gonna be doing on our Android phone is essentially telling the Android Wi-Fi hotspot not to be a 2.4 gigahertz hotspot, but to be a five gigahertz hotspot. As we know, 2.4 gigahertz is awesome for long range, but it's gonna have a slower speed. Five gigahertz essentially is amazing at short distances, we're gonna give you much better speed. Now, because we're gonna have our cell phone right next to our laptops or our gaming station or whatever we're connecting to, we want to make the hotspot as a five gigahertz hotspot. Okay, let me show you what you need to do. I'm gonna do this on my Android Pixel 3a. This is Android 10.0, but it also works on previous versions of Android as well. So what you're gonna do is go into your settings, go into search and look for something like hotspot and tethering. Click on that, click on hotspot and tethering to switch it on. And if it's the first time that you're doing it, you can hear is where you give it a name, a hotspot name. This is what your laptop and device are gonna to connect to. So my hotspot in this example, my password, it's gonna be that just for connection sake. Okay, now that I've set that up, what you need to do is tap on the bottom tab, which says advanced. Right, go in there and then you see it's gonna say AP band. Tap on that. And this time move it from 2.4 gigahertz to five gigahertz. That is the secret. Now let's put down the phone and go for Android 8.10 and I'm gonna show you how to do it there. Again, search for hotspot. This time it's called mobile hotspot and tethering. This is where you switch it on. And here's where you give it the Wi-Fi name. And next up, you're gonna set up the password. So tap on that, give it a password. Now click on the three little dots at the top. Click on configure mobile hotspot. Scroll down until you see the show advanced options. Tap on that. And here you're gonna set it to the five gigahertz band whenever that's available. Okay, so does it really make a difference? So I've set back the Wi-Fi to 2.4 gigahertz. You can see I'm connected to it. I wanna click on go on speedtest.net. Let's run a good old fashioned speed test and see what it does. Okay, let me fast forward this bit. All right, not bad, 27.68 as a download speed. Let's see what the upload speed, 10.28, very respectable, nothing wrong with that. Now, let's change it. 12 seconds later. Right, so my phone is now set for the hotspot to be at five gigahertz. Now what I'm gonna do on my computer is I'm gonna disconnect from that hotspot and then I'm going to reconnect again, just to double check that we're connecting at the right speed. Okay, 
Now, let's go and run speedtest.net one more time at five gigahertz on my phone, see what it does. And there we go. You can already see a massive, massive improvement just by going to the five gigahertz versus the 2.4. Look at that download speed. Look at that upload speed. So short tip, quick and to the point, more videos like this right over here with helping you with your Wi-Fi and your internet bandwidth connectivity right over here. If you're new here, hit the head below to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's do it.